Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and today I'm trying to put together a thank you card for my friend Miss Pam Ramish from the um, uh, Bugs Bite, and she gave me, I had it the wrong way here, she gave me these wonderful cuts from, or the, the die cuts and the folders from uh, Anna Griffith Lace, which is beautiful. Look at this. I cut it out of some pink sparkle paper. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the front. I also, she gave me a, some Sizzix a while back, which I already sent her a thank you card from, but I'm having a hard time as I'm learning how to work with die cuts. And I'm gonna send this to Pam, even though it's got a mistake on it. And as you can see, I couldn't get it out too well and it cut all across here. So I've gotta either put this on here and then put the flower across here, which is what I'm thinking of doing. And then I'm going to put, oops, it's hot. So I'm going to change the subject here. This is my mink. It's hot and it's ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick the tag in. A little paper stuck to it. And we're going to stick the foil on top. And I used a um, leftover piece from yesterday where I used the pink on the other Anna Griffin card and it'll go perfect with this card too. So I use that. And I've got that on and I just want to check the back to make sure and you can see it's completely on there. And I've got it set on three and it just shut off. I've got all those little pieces from that. Make sure it's not on there. Oh, there's one little piece on there. Okay. And then you feed it in until it catches and now it's got it and it is foiling and I, I am amazed at this machine how beautiful it looks when it comes out it's coming out the other end and it's out we can shut the machine off there move it out of the way All these new tools. I, I just am so busy playing and learning how. I think I'm going to put it like this because I think it looks beautiful. And then here from the mink, let's take this off so you can see it. And we have a beautiful thank you that goes right here at the bottom. And look how that just glit. Oh, here. Look how it just glistens. I think the light will catch it a little bit more. See that? So, anyway, I put this piece down here first. I've got it on a lift. I've got it on, on my um, foam tape. And I did that, and I glued these little pieces together that I have a mistake on. And Pam will understand, because she knows I'm just brand new at this. And I think she's trying to get me addicted to, um, to uh, die cuts. And you know what? It's really nice. And this foil. I just love the foil. And we're going to put some lift on this too with our foam tape. Just enough to get it to stick and adhere. We'll get some key areas and put that down. But you know what I did? You know how I keep my boxes of leftover paper? Well, what I did is I went through my leftover paper to find uh, pink that would go with this. And fortunately, it's a nice sharp pink, so it'll go very well with it. And, um, oh, I've got to turn that one around. Uh, it was a leftover piece of glitter paper. So how nice is that? Because you don't often get to use your glitter paper and have it fit something perfect for what you need. You know, and this did, so... And then, to top it off, can you believe this? I don't know how I did it, but I must have folded here, but I've got a little crack in here. I wonder. Here's some color ink. Maybe I can put some ink on there. There, we'll put a little ink on there and let it dry. See, your Cricut markers are good for something else. They were the handiest, so I grabbed them. And I'll move this over so the pink doesn't get on it, and we'll keep working with this. Put 
this here and then put one there and one there. This was washi tape that I used to hold my die cut down. Because the other day, I, or not the other day, I, this is the second time I've really been doing these die cuts. And I used the die cut on, um, I've off, on a, a thing and I, on a, another lace piece. And I actually used the lace piece on the card that I made yesterday, but it came right off the edge because the paper slid, so now I'm washing, using the washi tape. I've got all kinds of dyes. I don't know why I've never used them. I guess because I really haven't, uh, I'm so in love with my Explorer, but these are so nice, you know? And it goes so well with the Anna Griffith cards. And if you're going to follow her style on some of your cards, you really got to have it, right? Right. Notice I didn't need an excuse. So we're going to put this like this. So it's kind of even right in the center. And it covers up my flaws. How do you like that? It covers up those flaws right there. Okay. Then I use my Cricut Explorer and I got one of the roses off of there. I've ordered the garden cartridge, but it hasn't come in yet. And so I needed some roses and that was a nice way of getting it. So we'll put some roses on here, and we should figure out where this is going to go. Here, and the roses across here like that. How does that look? Or should I just leave the roses on there? I think I'm going to leave it like that and put the thank you on the inside. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, and I need a pink ribbon. And my grandson's sleeping in the other room, so I'll have to adhere a pink ribbon later on. I don't know. I might have one in here. I'll take a quick look. In one of the drawers, I've got marked ribbons. And I might have a ribbon there. I have so much ribbon, I've got some in the other room, too. Most of the ribbon is in the other room, though. Um, let's cut this. and another one and we'll put it here I hope you folks are having a nice day and I hope you had fun shopping on HSN last week I sure did it was the last week or the week before it was fun and I love this mink You know, it gives something to our cards that we never were able to do before. Where we could pick out what we wanted to do. And I'm going to put one on this little thing right here. There we go. And let's set this down again and look. Okay, there's that. We can put it right there. Then she'll have all kinds of stacks. And it'll give me more room to write her note on the inside. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's take these off. These cards are, once you figure them out, I did the, the cutting and the die cuts because you guys know better than me probably on how to do die cuts because I'm learning. And I thank Pam for really kind of pushing me along on this. And, um, you know, she bought it. She'd be at the store and they had a sale and and they had an extra, I mean, they bought, she took, bought something, and she'd get home and she already had it. Rather than take it back to the store, she'd send it to me. Now that's a nice friend. Okay. And we'll set this across like that. That looks nice. Now this. I'll set across the back here. And yesterday I put it on crooked, so today i got to make sure I get it on straight. And it's on crooked.
that I'm counting these little dots on the side. Did you see that? Okay, we gotta push down. No, that's a beautiful card. I'd be happy to sign that one. I should be signing this in gold. There we go. You know how I like to sign. Oh, and I should put 15 on it. Now let me get a close-up of this. Because it's kind of awesome, I have to say. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is the card I made yesterday. That's from that card kit that was in the um, in the Anna Griffith thing. You know, she did a card kit, and you just got the cards, and then you got some paper along with it, and envelopes. And that looks really, really nice. I think that she, that Pam will like it because she loves things with die cuts. And she, when she sends me cards, they, they're all die cut and they're so beautiful. And um, like I said, I've got a lot to learn. Rumor has it that Pam might be coming out my way and I'm going to be going her way, I think, in February. I was going to make it in, in over Thanksgiving, I mean, not Thanksgiving, uh, in October. But she's going to be going back to India to visit her mom and dad. And we're going to make it February instead. And I'm going to go to Texas and play at her house with all her goodies. Because she's got lots of goodies. So, And she's got a lot she can teach me. And then she's going to, like I said, come and play at my house. She's going to come to one of our card parties. And, of course, we'll have to tape that when that day comes. So you have a blessed day. Thank you for joining us today at She's a Sassy Lady. Bye now.